Cage Warrior 62 was live on Fight Network from Newcastle, England, and what a card it was, so hold on to your hats. The original main event had Neil Siri defending his flyweight strap against Ulysses Gomez, but that bout was cancelled after Gomez failed to make weight. So, headlining the card instead was UFC veteran Kurt Warburton, who made his promotional debut against 13-6 submission specialist Wesley Murch. It didn't take long for Warburton to slam this one down to the mat, where he was all over Murch's back. I think this will be a constant slow squeeze. And there's the transmission. Incredible finish from Kurt Warburton. And what a way to make the Cage Warriors debut. Warburton secures the submission win less than a minute into the bout, improving his record to 13-4, and, and that wasn't even the quickest finish of the night. More on that later. The co-main event had 10-0 Liverpool native Chris Fishgold taking on French veteran Olivier Pasteur, who at 40 was a full 20 years older than his opponent. You'd think the age difference would show, but Pastor maintained a very high work rate in this one, despite getting manhandled for the better part of two rounds, even nearly getting choked out in the second. Incredibly painful hold here from Chris Fishgold. Oh, and it's slipping He's gotten under the neck, and the grimace of pain on Pastor's face. Pastor bounced back in a big way in the final frame, landing some stiff shots on the feet and assuming control on the ground as well. It would head to the judges' scorecards, though, where the outcome was pretty cut and dry. Fishgold takes the unanimous decision with scores of 29-28 across the board. A pair of 3-0 fighters both made their respective promotional debuts opposite one another as Irishman Carl Moore squared off with Newcastle's own Richie Knox, who had the hometown fans in his corner. These two stood in the pocket and traded some stiff shots, including a pair of low blows going either way. Knox landed a series of power punches that had Moore on wobbly legs, and the finish was imminent, but it didn't come the way anyone expected. Richie Knox is starting to build up these strikes here. A shade of Leonard Garcia versus the Korean Zombie. Richie Knox working the body. And the hook, oh. but he's caught by a huge counter punch. And Moore has knocked out Richie Knox. Wow. Unbelievable wow. finish there, Josh. Moore snatches the big comeback victory from the clutches of what looked like a sure defeat. The thrilling knockout was the first of his young career as he remains undefeated at 4-0. Tommy Quinn lives and trains right in Newcastle, so he was on home turf as he took on Dinky Ninja's product, Dan Hope. I have so many questions about that team name. First round action, both men had some snap on their punches as Quinn took the early lead with his accuracy. He started to land with volume in the second round and Hope quickly found himself wobbling. Dan Hope firing back, but Tommy Quinn is teeing up here. Left and right hand. Hope goes down and Quinn pounces. Referee Rich Mitchell had finally seen enough as Quinn had plenty to dance about with the very impressive knockout win. 